Hi, good afternoon. Dan Thomas here again from the Love March Movement. And we're fasting every single Wednesday at 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. We are dedicated to going hard before the Lord concerning sexual purity and family. Because guess what? Strong family, strong nation. That's what we stand for. That's what we represent, right? Just wanted to send a shout out to everybody that came out to the Love March Online Prime Meeting. We go online. It was really a powerful time, right? In prayer and in worship. I mean, we prayed about very important topics, especially concerning the Love March coming up September 13. Make sure you're dead upon your teeth, ready for prayer, ready for all your placard, and ready to stand for righteousness in the public square. That's where Christians live and thrive. That's where we are designed to be. In the public, leading the nation forward into where, into its divine destiny and in where we should be as a nation. All right. Um, guess what? The love match is not only going to be in Jamaica; it's actually going to be in Barbados as well. So, if you happen to be in Barbados for a vacation, love match September thirteen in Barbados. Check out the LMM Barbados page on Facebook for more information but it's happening just want to shout out to Amanda you're doing a great job really powerful stuff there I will continue to pray for the love match in Barbados as well right I don't know if you heard but this is really exciting news I just heard recently that the US Virgin Islands decided to have a rally for the cause, right? They looked at Jamaica and I said, my goodness, Jamaica is standing up. Let us stand as well. And this is the kind of thing that that the, the blessing that is on our nation, when God set over us, you know, and put it in our hearts that we would advance the welfare of the whole human race. We're talking about righteousness flooding the world through Jamaica and it's happening right now, right? Not just through missionaries, not just through other means, but in standing for traditional family, we are seeing Christians being inspired, right? That's what happened with, with Amanda in Barbados. Now she has a whole team of young people standing for righteousness in Barbados. And that's what happened with the the um the the team and the pastors in US Virgin Islands, right? They decided to stand and it's powerful and amazing that this is happening. And we thank the Lord for what He's doing in our lives. Right, so they are standing for um, in the U.S. Virgin Islands. They are at the stage of same-sex marriage. So they're saying we don't want same-sex marriage in our country. We're standing up for righteousness. Right, really, really powerful stuff. Really heavy stuff. Right? And just to talk about it, well, that's what we're talking about this week. We're talking about keeping the burglar, law, right, which is along the spectrum of same-sex marriage, but it's like fifty years before same-sex marriage. That's a lot of nations took fifty years to progress from the burglar, law, the removal of the burglar law to same-sex marriage. Um, right, so they're standing for, for traditional family and just recently something happened with a family called the Giffords. They were actually sued um, for a, a conversation that they had for refusing actually to allow a lesbian couple to have their marriage, um, their wedding at their farm, the operator farm, and you know, persons would come and say, you know, we would like to have an, an event here. So what happened is that a lesbian couple actually called the 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 place, the farm house place, and um the conversation was being recorded. They didn't know. Lesbians asked if they would be able to have their wedding there, and they said no because the Giffords they have um strong strong values concerning family, and they believe. It would breach their consciences because uh, they believe that marriage is between a man and a woman. And, you know, they even offered to have the reception there instead because um, they're saying that the ceremony itself would be kept near their own house. The location for the ceremony would be kept near their own house where they have children and they don't want that kind of thing. Um, well, the verdict after I think it's like a two-year court case is that they're being sued for $10,000 uh, plus $3,000 to be paid to the couple for heartache and pain damage, right? Um, emotional distress. This is the kind of thing that we're talking about, man. This is it. This is it. This is what we're talking about. We are standing up for so much when we stand up for keeping the bug law. we're standing for freedom of speech freedom of conscience freedom of religion those are the things we want to focus on this week because those are the really the biggest the biggest points um in this particular area right that's one big reason why we need to keep that bug law because same thing happened to Bain can't happen to us don't let nobody tell you nothing the thing could have well and up to any one of us for speaking up on an international scale um and having a job in that in that um in that way where persons who are above us do agree that position. 
Um, but let us continue to stand. Let us continue to stand. It is important for the people of God to do what? Stand. We are salt and we are light. And we have to do what is right. Man, that rhymes. All right, yo, Jeremiah 16, verse 15, actually. Verse 20, it says, I will make you a wall to this people, a fortified wall of bronze. They will fight against you, but will not overcome you. For I am with you to rescue and to save you. Look, this is a powerful word the Lord poured it into my spirit and said this is for the Love March movement, right? But I'm extending it to all the persons who stand with the Love March movement. It's the same, um, same spirit, same heart in Jamaica cause in JCHS. We're standing up for righteousness and we're saying no matter what happens, no matter how many false accusations there are, no matter how much people hate us, we are standing up for what? The word of the Lord says concerning family, concerning the nation, right? We won't just allow atheistic policy to just come and take over our country because guess what? This is our country too, so we have a say. You see me? Straight. Now back down. Where the people of God will can back down. Greater is he that is in me than he that is in the world. Know that. That name scripture. You see me? Mad. All right, yo. Monday, September 1st, 2014. Guess what happening? The pre-trial review of the Javed Jagai um, Bugger Law case where Javed Jagai sued the Jamaican government came in claiming that the Bugger Law is a breach of his constitutional right to privacy. Right? So in, in focus, we're talking about keep the Bugger Law, stand for righteousness in your country. Right? And this is this is the kind of frame that we're putting it in because there are things happening on the ground in all our nations. The enemy has dispatched his people who don't know that they're being controlled by the enemy, most of them, to remove laws, to tear down the family, redefine the family, um, move everything towards, you know, homosexual adoption and all kind of stuff. And we need to remember as people of God that we are responsible for where he places us, where God places us. I'm in Jamaica, Amanda is in Barbados, right? The pastors there in the U.S. Virgin Islands, you are responsible for where God places you. So you must stand. You are a wall of bronze. Now do me a favor and do the Holy Spirit a favor and do what God's word say a favor and don't drop yourself and say, you know, I can't do it. Oh, I'm so small. You know, make up our bigger issues. Let us stand as a people of God. It is our responsibility to stand. You see me? Real talk. So let's just go into the three points, three people for this week. The first, I want to pray that we would defend our nations faithfully, fully dispatching our duties as watchmen on the wall. Look at what I'm saying. Look what happened to them. We're not going to say, look what happened to US. We're not going to say, look what happened to UK. We're not going to say, right? And also, being the wall itself, the barrier in the enemy's way, let us dispatch that responsibility well and stand strong, people of God. Second thing I want to pray, I want to pray that we would be given divine strategy from above like oh i always find ourselves about that moment when god spoke to to um joshua and told him exactly what they need to do to defeat um jericho right me god pour into our spirits and show us what we need to do step by step by step what we need to do to stand thirdly we want to pray that we would stand full of grace and truth right full of grace and truth and we need to be extending love towards homosexuals Right? And at the same time, standing firmly against the homosexual agenda. This is very important. We care about homosexuals. I personally care about everyone, right? Including homosexuals, right? I love homosexuals. They're made in the image of God, right? But Christ is calling, if you're homosexual, you know, listen to me. Christ is calling you to repent. Just like what he called me to what? Repent, right? It doesn't matter what we struggle with. We need to approach Everybody with grace and truth, full of grace and truth. That's what the word described Jesus as, and I find it just as a mind-blowing principle. But that's how we need to be, full of grace and truth, right? So we stand up against violence. Anybody will be violent towards any set of people, anybody violent towards fornicators or homosexuals or anybody else, the Christians must get up and say, that wrong, because the devil, the devil is the violent one. You see me? The devil is the one that wants to kill people, but Christ came to. Right? The devil comes to kill, steal, and destroy, but Christ came that we might have life and have it more abundantly, right? Two different roads, right? So we need to make sure we're on the right one and supporting the right one as well, right? Full of grace and the truth. They can't leave out the truth, right? But they can't leave out the grace either. Make sure. Know it. Know it. Real talk. Three people want to pray for this week. Javed Jagai. I want to pray for Javed Jagai. Um, I want to pray that he would come to a personal relationship with, with Jesus Christ. I want to pray that he would realize that he needs the Lord. 
If all of us need to learn that, he needs to learn. Also, um, I want us to pray for his sister. Um, I saw something that said that his sister is actually dying. Um, let's be praying for them. And if you can contribute to um, the fund, please contribute to help with the with the funds for, for Java Jack Guy. All right. Um, so let's be praying for Java Guy. The second person I want to pray about, I want to pray for Dane Lewis, who is the leader of JFL. Like he would also be in the courtroom um, September 1st. Yeah, and um, let's be praying for him and he will come into a personal relationship with Jesus Christ as well. Um, I believe that he also had a he had a relationship with Christ at one point in his life and walked away. But let's pray that he would be restored and he would come to that knowledge that he needs the Lord. We all need the Lord. People need the Lord. Thirdly, want to pray for Maurice Tomlinson, right? Maurice Tomlinson um, is just doing so much work all over the world. Um, you know, so I'm in a few Uganda pigs, you know, just all over the place. Let's pray that he would come to a knowledge of Jesus Christ. Now, this is so powerful because guess what? Paul, who, Saul, I mean, who was persecuting the Christians, breathing out violent threats, right? We said that account in Acts later, became a Christian. I wanted to lead us in the church. I believe Maurice Tomlinson, his life can be transformed and that he can even become a national leader for the church of Jesus Christ and for standing for strong families and a strong nation. Know that that is the power of our God. Yes, yeah, so I just want to encourage everybody. Let's continue to stand for, for sexual purity. Make sure you're there. September 13. Make sure you share the, 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 the video. The video soon come out. Make sure you share the poster. Right? Make sure I say, make, make sure that you're sharing this stuff and you're going hard and praying for the for the September 13 Love March in Jamaica and in Barbados as well. Make sure you're there. If you can contribute, we need the funds. Please contribute and continue to stand with us as we stand for righteousness in this nation as the Lord has placed this burden upon our hearts. Bless up. Bless up.